come on, boy, get in the car. You okay, little nigga? Man, I want revenge, man. I'm gonna find out who did this to my mama. And when I do, I'm gonna make sure they check out too. Calm man. down, calm down. We're gonna make it happen. I got my crew putting out the world right now. It's all a matter of time, so someone start running their mouth. And when they do, I'm gonna be the shit that hurt me. I know how you feel. But in the meantime, come me to this drop. You down? Man, you know I'm down, man. Got together. Man, look at the What's up, man? Dude, what's up? What you doing? What you doing? I need to get home. That's what I'm doing. I'm okay. getting ready to leave. Well, I'll let you go. Uh, you saw the numbers? Yeah, I saw the numbers. It was on my desk this morning. I checked them. You saw the numbers lately? Yeah, I just told you they was on my desk this morning. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yeah, you couldn't have seen the numbers because you would be in the rage right now. What happened? You talking about 12 million lost right now. 12 million dollars? 12 million dollars. Explain to me something. How is that possible? How does Angelica sell 20 million albums just alone last week and we are behind 12 million dollars? Where is all the money going? Stuff, I guess. I don't know what to tell you. I, I'm not the secretary. You, you hired her. I can't find her. I'm trying to keep me track of her. I don't know what's Okay, going. so you mean to tell me that I have the wrong stats on my desk? That's not the way business should be ran. Yeah, I know. You should be able to make sure that things are ran in order. That's what you are. You're the chief operating officer. I know. So what's the problem? I take care of it. I take care of it. I just want okay, to just tell you what's going on. It doesn't matter. First things first, we have to figure out how we're going to make this money back. $12 million ain't you no know, chump change. I don't care how big we are. That's still money that goes out of employees' pockets. Right. Okay? So here's the deal. We got to figure out, we're going to send Angelica on tour. Okay? And we need to send somebody else with her. Angelica has a big fan base. We'll send her on a worldwide tour. Okay. What's that chick's name that you was talking Day about? Lynn. Okay, Daylin. We'll send her on another tour, but it'll be the United States tour. Okay? So we'll send her on the United States tour and we'll send Angelica on the worldwide tour. Alright. Alright, how does that sound? Well, it's North America, but I mean I'm saying United States, I mean it doesn't really matter. Nobody knows the difference, especially teenagers. Right. right. Alright, so we'll send them on the North America tour, okay? We'll charge the same prices for the tickets. Well, I guess a little bit cheaper. For the, for the teenagers. Same price, okay? Merchandise it. We'll do two million dollars of promotion to sell the tour. Okay, with that much revenue coming in, there's no way possible that we should not be able to hit $150 million off both of those tours. Okay, because, I mean, dude, I just got so much in my mind. My wife, I got to get to her. I got to take her to the doctor. I know, I'm trying to let you go. I'm sorry. I already know. How she doing? She all right? She's cool. She's cool. I mean, I'm going to tell her that. I'll take care of it. All right, thank you. Take care of it. Um, you're not working on the demo. You want to check it out? This is not the time all to right, check right, out no demo. Right, what are you sad. doing? I'm just trying to find out. Alright, I'll take care of you. Once again, you were not here when I needed you the most. I don't even know how to express myself, how I'm feeling right now. I feel so, so lost, so alone. I don't know how to find my way back, back to that place of security with you. Lawrence.
Trust me when I say I've enjoyed being your wife, a mother to our son, tending to our home. But somehow these past few months, we've just seen some of the most trying times in this marriage. I don't know where I went wrong. I mean, we were so happy when we found each other. Do you remember? It was like, it was like experiencing a part of heaven. Um, But after losing our baby girl, we allowed our grief to separate our family and drift us further apart. If I could turn back the hands of time, I would, but I can't. I just hope that it's not too late for us to find our way back. In time, I hope it will. I pray it will work out. Do you remember our brief conversation about my daughter? How I couldn't find her? Well, I did. I found her, and she lives with her dad in Houston. I've been speaking with a Rachel at the National Center for Missing Children. Here is her address and telephone number. Lawrence, I need you to take precaution. My daughter, my precious daughter, she's been in the juvenile system several times. And it's important that you don't let me down. I am counting on you to make this work.